Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we gonna check out top 3 best audio interface. Starting at number 3. Presonus Audio Box USB 96. On the front of the audio interface, we have 5 knobs that at a glance they all look exactly the same. I can see something like this getting a bit confusing if you're just starting out, so this might be something to consider. This thing's also got some very different yet still very cool included software. It comes bundled with Studio One which is a door that's made by Prisonus. This door isn't as popular as some of the other doors we've talked about today but Studio One is beloved by its users and is touted as a great digital audio workstation for beginners. It also comes bundled with the Studio Magic plugin bundle with some great selections from Lexicon Output Editorial most notably for me it comes with Archeria's Analog Lab Lite which if you don't know is a great introduction into the world of Archeria's Analog Set collection, in their vintage key selection. The last thing I want to mention is the build quality of this thing is second to none, it is built like a tank. If you're moving around a lot or you're going to be taking this on the road then this might be the way to go. Check out the description for more information and latest price. Coming at number 2. Presonus Audio Box USB 96. On the front of the audio interface, we have 5 knobs that at a glance they all look exactly the same. I can see something like this getting a bit confusing if you're just starting out, so this might be something to consider. This thing's also got some very different yet still very cool included software. It comes bundled with Studio One which is a door that's made by Prisonus. This door isn't as popular as some of the other doors we've talked about today but Studio One is beloved by its users and is touted as a great digital audio workstation for beginners. It also comes bundled with the Studio Magic plugin bundle with some great selections from Lexicon Output Editorial most notably for me it comes with Archeria's Analog Lab Lite which if you don't know is a great introduction into the world of Archeria's Analog Set collection, in their vintage key selection. The last thing I want to mention is the build quality of this thing is second to none, it is built like a tank. If you're moving around a lot or you're going to be taking this on the road then this might be the way to go. And number 1 of this list. Steinberg UR22 MKI. The first thing I noticed about the UR22 MKI was the weight, the whole interface really feels like a small brick. The reason for the weight is the housing it is made completely out of metal and feels really sturdy. All the knobs feel solid and operate smoothly. The only thing that I didn't like about the outside of the device is that the three knobs are very close to each other and that makes turning them a little bit awkward. Overall though I would say that the UR22 has a very nice build quality. To the right of the input to gain knob, there is a button with which you can change the TRS input on channel 2 from a line to a high Z instrument input. To the right of that, there is a quarter inch headphone jack with the corresponding volume knob above it. The next knob lets you choose whether you only hear the direct monitoring signal without any latency or the audio signal from your door. Lastly, you've got one more knob that controls the volume of the outputs. On the back of the interface, there are two quarter-inch TRS connectors. Above them, you can find a switch to enable or disable phantom power for the MIC inputs. To the left of that, there is a MIDI input and MIDI output. Further to the left, you can find the USB Type-B connector for hooking up the interface to a PC. You can also find a micro USB connector right next to that which can be used to power the interface with an external power supply. So you can even use this interface with devices that do not deliver enough power over the USB data connection and you've got a switch which lets you toggle between the two USB connectors as a power source. And finally, you got a small cutout in the housing so you can attach a high security Kensington lock. All of these items are available on Amazon. I have included all the links in the description. You can check out these links for more information and latest price. Guys, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share with your friends and be sure to subscribe.